good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today on Preach Your Voice by the Neko Ministry. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Apostle Sean Troll Davis. Today is February the 2nd of 2023. It is 5.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to get right into this quick vision. It was a vision um, that I really didn't understand, and I, I wasn't going to record it because I didn't understand it, but I remembered that I didn't do it last time, and I know when I receive from, something from the Lord, it is given to me in a particular way, and He communicates in a way that is unmistakable so I know that this quick vision is from him what it means I do not have understanding of at this point but again I know it is from him so I am going to record it I'm first going to begin with scripture as I always do um John 13 and 19 now I tell you before it comes come that when it comes to pass you may believe that I'm he this is also not what we see written in scriptures to show that he is the Christ but also that he will give you uh and warn you of things to come so that you will know this is his voice that you're hearing and that he is the true and the all-knowing and all-wise God uh Proverbs 29 and 18 where there is no vision the people perish um and that is just not vision there's dreams and vision this is being able to see steps ahead this is strategy um this is knowing what they're saying and what they're not saying um by way of the spirit okay Second Chronicles 36 and 16, but they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose, until there was no remedy. Again, he, you notice he says messengers, but they despised his word. Because when I come and give you a message, whether it is prophetically uh, from teaching or from visions, because many of you know I get them in full teachings. Many of the prophetic words that are coming to pass were in full teachings. Uh, that uh, they are his words and we need to receive them as such. First John 4 and 6, he that knoweth God heareth us, and he that is not of God heareth us not. Usually it's the people who don't belong to him, even if they're pretending to, they will not receive these words no matter how on point they are. Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when it comes to pass, and lo, it will come to pass, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. I operate in the prophetic office as well as being in the office of a prophet, but I am an apostle, but he has not stopped giving me dreams and visions as well as prophetic words through ministry messages. Um, return unto me, that is Malachi 3 and 7, you can read that on your own times, it will be in the notes. Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out in the times of refreshing that come from the Lord. These times of peace are times of refreshing for you to build yourself up for the fires um, that he's preparing uh, that will take this world. You will be in the midst of it. Behold, he comes quickly. That is Revelation 16 and 15, you can read that whole scripture on your own time. I am warning the wicked according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. Um, uh, and you can read that on your own time for the be in the notes. And I am one of the righteous, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. You need to understand that even this righteous, he warns you not to fall away, or that you may have your crown stone as various other warnings that he gives the righteous. But blood will be on your hands if you do not warn. And I warn thoroughly, and to the best of my ability, everything he gives me with honor. Matthew 10 and 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak you in light, and what you hear in the ear, that preach you on the housetops. He speaks to me through green visions in the ear, waking visions and through ministry messages and I am delivering them from the rooftops on Acts 2 and 17 through 18 uh, it speaks about him pouring out his spirits in the last days and that you would dream and you would prophesy on his uh, servants and handmaidens you will read that on your own time I will also have it in the notes again I'm going to do this uh, uh, vision here real quickly. Um, it happened very quickly. Uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't as quick as it seemed to me because in the vision it was a little bit longer than the, what it's going to take me to describe it. In this vision I was literally shown children of various ages, mainly babies. Babies, toddlers, uh, three, five, three-year-olds, five-year-olds, around this age range, even little babies being pulled out of the dust from left to right. I looked to the left, I looked to the right, and they were being pulled out of a dusty rubble kid after kid after kid and the last kid i saw had shaggy looking hair and they were literally shaking dust off of them and i awoke the vision was that quick and i was puzzled by it because i didn't quite know what to think and as i sat down for breakfast i, I, I spoke to my husband i said you had a dream um that babies and toddlers and children they were just being pulled out of the rubble everywhere just pulled out of this stacked rubble and they were dusty and they were just pulling them out everywhere and that's where i woke and that is the vision i knew it was from the lord it was very clear it was very vivid um and uh the the images i saw were very descriptive um it was very clear what i saw um take this vision before the lord i'm recording it because i will not uh uh, only record what I can understand. I did that before because things I didn't understand came to pass and I, they did not understand. I, the understanding wasn't given to me until I literally saw it manifest before my eyes. But I know this vision was from the Lord. So I have delivered it 
of Faith Believers Day of February the 2nd of 2023. And this is Apostle Chantrell Davis signing out. <music>